have for you today a Burstner Delphin C621 camper van on a Renault base although this camper van does look like a motorhome so it uh, even looks a bit like a monocoque design motorhome well that's the color though it gives that one away um, it isn't a monocoque um, because it's a, a camper van it's the original uh, body uh, that was built with of the panel van let's come over and have a look at the price 76,000 euros and a bit it's 623 centimeters long 207 centimeters wide as it is on the Renault and not on a Fiat it's slightly different measurements and the, the Fiat longer version is uh, it's six, 636 centimeters long so it's uh, and it's a bit thinner uh, so the Renault is shorter but fatter. Standard here, two burners, standard sink. Um, what we've got in here is the uh, the washroom, which I suppose is a reasonable size. Yeah, it's not bad at all size that one, I think, actually, for a vehicle uh, with these dimensions. And at the back, lengthwise beds. So uh, for taller people, also you've got the storage down here as well, should you be needing it. And then back the, the bed goes to one side by moving it upwards and, uh, and downwards, should you so want to. Uh, the, is there enough space there between the lockers and the bed? Well, the, the storage has to go somewhere. You're gonna want to carry stuff around with you. So that's more or less what you're gonna get. In here, we have a wardrobe of sorts, and this uh, this will move. There you go, the floor moves out, and then, okay, so you can do this one hand, and then you can do this. So longer things can actually fall down. Pretty good idea. Mind you, I did the same thing in my van, and it didn't really work out very well. Um, got another uh, st storage thing here. You can also make this into a wardrobe as well if you want, although it's got shelves in at the moment. And of course there are drawers in the, under the sink. Oh, that's a bit stiff. Then again, it's new. I was probably a bit stiff when I was new as well. So, uh, here we have the uh, fridge which opens both ways. And for a camper van of this type, that's a reasonable size. In fact, well, a standard size. We also have down here, there you are, there's the electric, your fuse box is down there. I think it's always handy to get, have placing easy access to the fuse box. Uh, right here, control panel, so you can see how much you've got electrics coming in at the moment. And if I turn this here off, all the lights would go out here. Let's do that right now. There you go. And your heating, Truma heating up there. <laughs> Bike carrier on the back, although that's probably an option. Although it's probably included in the price I quoted earlier. So, the moment, like this, you can see, it looks like a lounge. Which is uh, also a nice feature to have in, in, in the van. So it's not just a bed, it's also the lounge. I suppose you could make any camper van of this nature into a lounge anyway, couldn't you really? So you've got lengthwise beds. And uh, anyway, it's just, a, just an idea of mine. So look in here. Gas cabinet. Quite long and deep. and storage via, uh, it's open, but you've got nets to stop things falling out. All right, so um, there aren't so many uh, vehicles on the Renault basis, but um, I suspect we'll see more. Ahorn, for example, just pieces on the Renault. Uh, but there are more than there were in previous uh, years, more and more. And this is largely due to the fact that Fiat is unable to produce in the numbers which are 
required. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. I upload every Friday. No, sorry, no, I don't. I upload every day at 21.15. I forgot what channel I was talking to. Uh, there's a motorhome or camper van or something related to this type of van life. A van life filmed every day on this channel at 21.15. So, thanks very much for watching and all the best from me in Germany.